Teen Secret may just be next up, and nobody is talking about them. During the Manchester Major, the team went flawless across the Swiss stage, only losing in elimination matches against the eventual finalists of BDS. This was already an impressive performance, and now, with a world champion in virtue on their roster, the team is set to be even scarier. Even without him though, Secret still looked good. They faced off against many excellent teams during their major run, including the ever-dominant FaZe Clan. FaZe are consistently a threat who should not be discounted no matter what. With Vita King at the helm and some of the most consistent fraggers in Siege, beating them is one of the hardest things a team in Siege can do. But Secret didn't just beat them, they dominated FaZe in convincing fashion. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. FaZe are defending Kitchen and Dining, with an extension into Master and Office. This allows them to fight for map control early on, with utility invested to help them stay longer. The idea here is that if Secret decide not to fight the extension, FaZe will be able to use the Solus and Vert angles from above site to deny any attempt at the plant. This means Secret will have to clear the extension before transitioning to hit site. A challenge, sure, but where most teams see an obstacle, Secret sense an opportunity. In order to deal with the Office extension, they need to clear out the space. But beyond just forcing the defense back, they want to use this as an opportunity to secure themselves an opener. To this end, Adrian, Gruby, and Miracle work together to guarantee themselves a kill. Adrian applies pressure office door while Miracle opens up the left side office wall. This traps the Malusi of Handy half wall, but Secret aren't done quite yet. They know a player is trapped, so Miracle tosses an ace charge on the far left side of the jungle wall to get an angle onto half wall and secure the opener for his team. The three of them then work immediately to continue to establish their lead in the round. Adrian holds a deep angle through office and catches souls trying to swing for a refrag, while Gruby and Miracle work through piano with support from the bath window from Savage. FaZe is forced to give the whole top floor, but the pressure from Secret just doesn't let up. The moment his team takes control of bathroom, Savage's position on the window no longer serves any purpose, so he takes a new position below on the west main windows. He finds Cyber and begins holding trophy to cut off rotations. Now, with the rest of his team solar, kitch hatch, and pinching from 45, Secret push together, giving FaZe no chance to get themselves back into the round. Now just looking to consolidate, don't have to over aggress, don't have to over complicate things. They can sit pretty, wait for the players to peek on out. Savage does spot out KDS. Oh, but he takes his head straight on off. KDS then eventually traded on back by Gruby. And a phenomenal opening round from the Europeans. What a round from Secret. They clinically dismantled the phase, in large part due to their early round set play to give them a quick advantage by getting rid of the office player. But for Secret, this set piece is far from extraordinary. For this roster, this type of play is much more like the norm. Take this round for example. In the prep phase, Secrets see that FaZe are playing with a boiler extension and move immediately to punish that idea. While Miracle on the Thermite opens main wall for free, Secrets stack three players wineside for their set piece on boiler. Adrian works in through Big Garage as Joom and Savage get ready on a Capitao and Thatcher to make their play. The EMP comes out to get rid of any potential while my discs before Savage shoots a firebolt to force Vita King to move. This all happens as Adrian pushes up to Fridge, holding Warden's fall, making it impossible for him to leave. Now getting utility in place to clear out this position and again take quick control away from FaZe. I like this. Chabotow to come on out. Vita King does fall on back. He's looking to re aggress though. This could be very cheeky. The shotgun finds the kill. Adrian can Wait. trade. Vita King worth his weight in gold there. Taking down a very pivotal player. Drop. Miracle elsewhere has been thwarted by souls. A beautiful set piece out of secret leads to a rapid collapse of the boiler extension, but it isn't without cost. Before dying, Vita King manages to find a kill onto Savage, while elsewhere, Soul swings the main breach to kill Miracle. Now, in the man disadvantage, Secret need to find a way to equalize before continuing the round. And look at this. Miracle, on a drone from Joom, has spotted Cyber is isolated in bar, so the three remaining attackers converge to take him out. Adrian starts shooting to make Cyber move as Gruby walks down fireplace to hold his fall. Now, Cyber is trapped inside of bar, needing to take a fight to get out. This is a wonderful readout of Secret as they give themselves the best possible chance of getting back into the round. Phase are ready for the game plan, all right? They're gonna push quickly, get that control, we'll have to deal with it, but Cyber! Wow. He's had a rough stage so far. Well done to equalize, but now, secrets still need to execute. As Joom goes to plant, 
Spays will have a temporary advantage in their retake, but if Secret play it right, they should be able to shut it down. They set up with Gruby holding from Fridge to deny retakes from Garage and Adrian holding from Trench to fight anyone blue. This allows them to cover Joom as he attempts a plant here, forcing FaZe to push into the long angles being held by DMRs. Secret have a perfect read on their win condition. Can they execute? It's forcing Secret to play against the clock here. 25 seconds left to go. They are going to have no second chances. They have to go deep. And they have to make good on this execute. KDS looks to worm his way forward. Can't find the jewel he's looking for. The cover is there for Secret. It is phenomenal. Back on a mid-floor site, this time, FaZe are defending Bar and Games. This site is very similar to Kitchen, with the defense extending upwards to control space above the site. Secret, for their part, opt once again for a library-sided take. But despite starting the same side as they did previously, their attack is going to look substantially different. As opposed to their library cross-take in round 1, this time, Secret are attempting what is known as a library direct. As the name implies, a direct take involves the attack fighting directly into the heavily defended area immediately surrounding the site. These sorts of attacks involve taking minimal map control, which saves time on the clear, but makes the late round very predictable, since having less map control takes away a lot of the flexibility of the attack. Pretty much immediately, Secret recognize that there's a player starting deep library corner who they'll have to clear out before beginning the next step of their take. So while the rest of their team start working to clear out utility, Miracle and Gruby set up for another rehearsed set piece. By shooting a Capital Bolt right here on the wall, it forces the defender in the corner to either move or get cooked, quickly and efficiently clearing the space for Secret. He's with the rest of the team, playing behind a shield. There is a heavy holder on library, pushing into piano, pushing into library itself. You can see Vita King in that sort of death position that, well, a Capitao will often firebolt and try to work that player out with no Wamai on the board. Vita King will have to give it up very, very quickly. No dock, nothing whatsoever. So you'll fall back down and hold stock. This is a normal start, a minute into a clear of bar and games. Well done by Secret, but their problem solving doesn't end here. Now, faced with a mirror window, they need to find a way to get rid of it with the tools they have on side. But how? The only thing they have to destroy mirror windows is the Hibana, but if Miracle were to simply shoot pellets, then Cyber would just easily shoot them off. Secret needs something else to ensure it gets opened. So how do you stop somebody from just shooting your gadget? Well, let's think for a second about what that action requires. It's super basic, but it involves aiming, then clicking. Now, obviously you can't directly take away somebody's ability to click, but aiming is another story. See, in order to aim, you need to be able to see, and attackers have two ways to take that away. Attackers can take away all of one player's vision for a short period with flashes, or some of all players' vision for longer with smokes. Here, Secret needs the effect to last long enough for the wall to open, so they combo a smoke bolt from Gruby with the X Kairos from Miracle to make it happen. Moving on, now that they've gotten rid of utility, Secret actually need to take the space. Gruby gets ready to jump in library while Savage aims to hit a Lurk 45. Everybody else on Secret posts up on windows, holding long angles to find picks in the chaos that's about to ensue. Into this building. They've cleared out some of these key positions, but not nearly enough of them. And without much pressure on the opposite side of the map, it's going to be hard to clear these players at Mezzanine. Despite that good little bit of hard reach, Vinniking does find the opener. It's seemingly a, a form of execute has shaped up, the Cyber is still holding on to display, and it's not looking too hot for Secret. They are a player down, but they do find some form of reply in the form of Doom. Oh my, it's a bloodbath back and forth here. The trades come through, and the round stabilizes in a 3v3. But Secret now have one huge advantage. Because they killed the players Mezzanine and Piano, Cyber is now surrounded on all sides. He's a scary player who always has potential to go huge, but here he needs to find one to keep his team in the round. And with Adrian on low HP, Cyber looks like he's picked the perfect fight. Solid position still from FaZe held. The round could still hinge again, two in a row, on Cyber's position. If he wins this fight, they might be able to secure it, but even if Secret trade him and go 2v2, they could still have a winnable round here. Cyber's got to get a kill to make this impactful. DMR around the corner, he wins the Reloading. fight! Cyber changed his mind at the last moment and he pays for it! Look at how smart Adrian played that. He baited, refusing to give Cyber a fight until Joom got into position to fight in a 2v1. That was without a doubt one of the most impressive gunfights I've ever seen watching Siege. But the round isn't over. Secret move to ready their execute. But FaZe, sensing they're about to be overwhelmed, look to get aggro to disrupt Secret's setup. 2v3 now for the Brazilians. Still searching for their very first round. And Vidiking 
may be the one to give it to them. He uh, finds one, but he is traded on back by Miracle. Leaving up to a 1v2 for poor Handy. Low HP on Adrian, the newest in the roster. And he's the one that must now clutch up the secret. Oh my god. Handy gets it down to a 1v1. Now, with low time and low health, Adrian would need to make magic happen to pull it off. Can he do it? Handy holds his position. Adrian injured, but not out as of yet. Low HP. Handy must hold firm. He's got the strong position. All he needs to land is a single ball, and Adrian gets him! The newbie on the roster steps up for Secret! Last time Secret attacked Bar, they went for a library direct take. This time, they opt to clear over from Solar Side, but that means we now get to see the strength of this setup from FaZe. FaZe are playing an office extension, with the master walls reinforced, a rotate to jungle, and a shield to support. This strat forces the attack to confront the player office before progressing any further in the round. By surrounding office with utility and playing somebody half wall, FaZe can hold on to this space for as long as they stay alive. But it's actually even better than that. Because of the rotate, even if the first player dies, FaZe can simply rotate a replacement in, ensuring Secret continue to stall out for as long as FaZe has players ready to replace. Secret take the free space solar and, using the Thatcher and Havana, open the walls up office. But Souls is tucked half wall, and with Vita King close to support, there's precious little secret can do to clear them out. Souls likely going to fall back soon. Both these players died in this position all the way back on that previous bar game's attack. And now with Vita King on low HP, again, oh, so many options for back. secret to find a way into their attacks. The phase seemingly unfazed, holding these long positions, holding these solid fortified areas of the map. Vita King. A shield to play off of can aggressively contest here in piano, and he finds a pig. Big on the savage. Back. Souls as well unaddressed. Vidikin uh -oh. caught in a crossfire, over peaking, but Souls is able to trade. He's the last man standing on this extension. He repeaks with the revolver, lands the damage, but not the kill. Adrian 1v3. He's clutched up in a 1v1, but he won't get it done here. The side swap. Now, Secret is on the defense, starting on the basement bomb site. This site, with its exterior walls, can be tricky to defend, but Secret have a plan to make it work. They bring the Maestro and a Bulletproof, plus a C4 on Cade, to deny any attempt at a planting garage, which they pair with an extended roam to the third floor, from Legion, Oryx, and Solus. The idea here is to shut FaZe down if they attempt to go garage only, while preventing a wineside take by forcing a roam clear. They want to give FaZe lots of problems to solve, which will force them to execute with low time, where the Maestro Cams of Miracle will be able to deny any plants. FaZe start the round by immediately going to open Garage, but Secret have an idea to stop that from happening. They combo the Cade Claws and Impacts, with the goal of tricking to deny Wall, but with the Thatcher on side, KDS simply needs to throw two EMPs to perfectly deny the Cade trick. Monty, whether he's pressuring on the roam or actually going in for a plant, he knows when to unshield, he knows when to extend, and he also really knows how to play Monty 1v1s very well. Something, you know, that was kind of talked about in Atlanta was players using the Monty poorly, exposing themselves and dying in positions. Mediking doesn't make those mistakes on the Monty. A blunder out of phase. They only use one EMP, and the hard breach is lost. They could try again, but they know this isn't their priority. They want to end Wineside, so the two EMPs remaining will need to be used there. They rotate off and go to rejoin their team. While all of this was happening, the rest of FaZe were getting info and control Solar Side. Handy takes into Big Garage as Cyber holds flank from Trophy. FaZe are opting not to go for a clear, preferring just to hold cutoffs as they work for minimal map control. But Secret are off the site, and if they can kill the cuts, Suddenly, FaZe are very vulnerable to a flank. Vidikin can be as good as he wants. If Arima Dash hits him, he's going down like anybody else. But June cut off a bit right oh. now! You gotta feel for Swabby Cyber runs. this game. This has been not been his day. No, this has been one of the worst performances we've seen from him in a long time. Cyber has died every single round of this match, and he's the only one in the server who, unfortunately, has that uh, black mark next to his name. Still not done yet for FaZe. There is still a roamer at large elsewhere. June continue to deal damage, but... We have seen FaZe take solid map control here, and Souls is also on lockdown, covering Doom should he attempt to go for a flank through West Main. So I'm not too worried about FaZe as of yet. I'm not, but there are still problems. Savage on the realm, of course, but Joom holding down that dining hatch, the way in, and Vita King now down. I'm curious if Joom got that Rima dash down, and is the orcs with that kill. But now he's stuck. There's two players 
not too far away from each other. Oh, one's on the other side of the wall. Never mind me. This is the risk with minimal clears. Secret managed to translate their space into kills, and now, with no map control, FaZe doesn't have any options for a pivot. They decide to stay backside and hit site to force fights. And that round the attack won a few rounds ago. This evil eye, dispatched with. Miracle's gonna get concussed as well. They need to make good on this. They need to swing him and take him on down. This maestro could be the determining factor, but he gets eliminated. A good reply though from Adrian. FaZe losing players by the minute, but handy. Diffuser in hand, looks to go deep in the site, finds his pick, there's a player on the hatch, Savage could look for a flank, and he has to force his plant on down, which means it's up to KDS to cover the C4 over the top, plant denied, Savage to clean house. Secret are defending Bar with a similar setup to that of FaZe. Recognizing that, FaZe decide to try for a direct take. They open up Library and Bar when out of nowhere, Joom peeks Game's window and smokes souls. FaZe find themselves at a man disadvantage, but they're an incredibly experienced team. Their understanding of timings and gaps is almost unrivaled, and they may yet find a way to get themselves back into the round. Sure you're in a 4v5, but yeah! Ruby's by himself, he's got Savage and Library stairs, but Cyber's found a way into sight. That's one way to open the round back up. And that means they are fully inside the site now. Reloaded. Cyber has control of this mirror window. He does have to worry about the bottom of main stairs, but good retake here from Secret. They've collapsed into sight. They brought it back to numbers advantage for the Europeans. While KDS and Vita King distract Library side, Cyber starts looking to make a play. He gets Vita King to smoke the mirror window bar distracting Miracle as he waltzes into sight. He shoots Miracle in the back, opening the sight for FaZe. KDS and Vita instantly react off this, jumping through the game's window and moving to attempt the plant. They get so close to getting bombed down when Joom finds an insane timing to push in through Pickle and kill the player planting. He's quickly traded, but the damage is done. FaZe is completely locked out of the round. Secret don't know when to push in, when to make their move, but nor to FaZe know when they're gonna be safe, and they're certainly not safe with Savage above. Cyber in a 1v2, but both players low on HP. So winnable, especially with a weapon of this caliber in his hands. First kill to Ray, a 4K required. And we all know that Cyber is very much capable. Savage, he is indeed a savage man. Secret are defending Kitchen and Dining, with a vertical extension to Master and Office. They want to fight for space top to deny FaZe simply walking into sight. FaZe set up to start surrounding the entire map, with one solar, one fireplace, one ego, and two library. They want to take free space library while applying pressure from all over to keep secret guessing at where the main push will come. FaZe open up windows to apply pressure when Miracle decides to take a fight with Souls outside solar. Souls easily shuts him down, giving his team the early advantage. In the meantime, Vita and KDS have taken all of library and start opening up office wall for their clear. But FaZe's attack has layers, and as his teammates make noise top, Handy lurks at 45, searching for another pick. Assuming Secret don't find a way to retake and catch an attacker off guard. Those need to lock in, they got so much time. Slow and steady is all it takes. But Handy actually wants to get a little bit frisky with it. Look how close he is to sight right now. So close to finding an opening pick. Adrian taken very low, but now the jig is up. And Handy's position is revealed so close to executing on a sight. Adrian, don't overpick this! The young rookie! Makes a very ill-advised decision, gives up another pick. Secret, this advantage that they have established for themselves seemingly dwindling. Souls has a good cutoff position as well onto the Solus of Savage. This is very awkward now for Secret. A player down, but they brought it back to an equality again. They brought it back to an equality, and Joom still has the vertical angle, watching the position Hanny wanted to go in with the diffuser. These teams are fighting tooth and nail. Now, in the 3v3, both teams start thinking about their win condition. Secret are going to maintain office control to hold the 45 choke from Vert. FaZe doesn't have any other hard breach, so forcing the choke is their only real option. But this is a problem for them, because when fighting vertically, perspective heavily favors the player above. So what can they do? They don't have time to take top, but Handy still has a bit of util in pocket. Cyber and KDS stack sight door as Handy gets ready to flash the defenders upstairs. Contesting is Cyber, he needs to win this fight. He knows exactly where this player is. The entire bombsite has been vacated by Secret. Everyone's upstairs, but the door is not as open as you might think for FaZe. They can try and force themselves in, try and force this plant down, but Kruby's still above, is ready to try and deny this plant. KDS can lock it in. 
But this retake is oh so winnable for the Europeans. KDS dancing with death. Doom cannot find the angle through the bars. Eventually, KDS goes down a 1v3 for Cyber. He almost made it work last round, but not to be. No, not today. Secret run a similar setup with roamers above and plant and wall denial site. FaZe, for their part, have completely retooled their lineup. This time, they bring Vert and Execute Util, which heavily favors a front pay. The round starts, and Savage, feeling confident with his team in the lead, wants to set the tempo with an aggressive jump out West Main. Is FaZe ready? It's worked. FaZe only have I one set of hard breaching, just the hard breach charges. So to be fair, you could go for maybe a quick take with the Ying, running through maybe down the stairs, but with the Ram, it seems they want to dedicate for a full clear on attack front side. They found Savage, that's great, but Secret, even with that, have a leg up on them in utility. Oh, Doom. Big kill. Cyber goes down. Even though the runout failed, Secret still has a plan to get the trade. Joom knows after getting a kill, Cyber won't expect somebody else close on the window. So he tucks himself west main and waits for Cyber to come shoot the camera, equalizing the round. Still, FaZe have started their entry upstairs, and with a cutoff trophy and a pinch from above, Adrian looks to be in a rough spot. But how bad of a position are you in when your win condition has been your biggest struggle so far? Getting that opening pick or cementing an advantage for a long period of time. KDS on the hunt, but they do cut Adrian off. There was one more roamer, remember? That Doom still at oh, large! No. But again, both kills of Jooms have neutralized the advantages acquired by FaZe. These trades out of Joom. One minute remaining, and FaZe need to make something happen. Secret has fallen back to sight, so they start thinking about a plan. With the time and util they have remaining, there's only one real option for them, so they set up for it right away. By opening up connector and sending the Ying to flash out blue, FaZe can safely plant bottom main behind white shell. Well, if they play it right, daggers. Secret can't do a thing to stop it. But the FaZe players need to stay alive. In the 3v3, they can cover, but if an attacker were to go down, there's suddenly too many angles for the cover to hold. And look at this. Joom has been having an excellent round so far, and his position tucked blue is completely unexpected. This may just be his chance to win the game for his team. World champion caliber players must step up now because Secret are looking to give FaZe their first loss in a hell of a long time. Joom has been the man of the hour. He goes for more and he gets it. And he stands between Secret and the opening game looking victorious. He finds the double, but guess who it's up against? The man of the hour, Joom, and he looks to force this down. There will be a four second window for Joom to lock in this kill. And he forces the diffuser down, but there's Joom! They've taken oh, down the 